assalamu alaikum friends my name is muhammad yunus and i am auto technical developer so first of all if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and also click the bell icon so that you can get the updates of the upcoming videos thank you so uh, in the last video we have discussed about uh, how to add a field in the views like the form view which is here processor and we have added some text but in this video uh, we are going to talk about or uh, we are going to learn about actions and how they work with views and models okay but before that i will give you a challenge a task to you uh, to achieve to do it and share your feedback in the comments like if you have done it or not so this is just a basic task if you already know um, about Udo customization you uh, can skip this video but if you are new to Udo then you need to uh, watch this video till the end and uh, you need to uh, perform this task okay so this is the field that we have added in the form you you just need to do is uh, your task is to add this field to the list view so like if you I click here to the list view you will see all the products in the list so here are uh, like some uh, space like uh, after the internal reference you can you need to add that field so how you can add it so first of all you will have to switch to the list view and then you need to uh, click here and then you need to click edit view list okay so here you have the XML so same like we have added uh, the views uh, the field in the form view the same way you can edit in the uh, list view okay that's it uh, so share your feedback in the comment section also so now we will talk about the views um, actions models and menus okay at the top you can see sales orders and then quotation order sales team so all these are menus in Odo, these are called menus so if you click on any of the menu for example if i click on the quotation you will see this view so this view is called list view and you can switch switch to different views like can view calendar view and then pivot view so these are the different views that you can switch so if you click on a different menu it will display a different view but uh, like the view can be belong to the same model or it can be belong to the different models so it is uh, a topic that needs to be discussed so this is a different view uh, which you can see and yet you can see a different view so this uh, like how these uh, are displayed so for, for example if you click on a menu item what it does it calls the action so what the action does the actions pick the data from the model and it di display in the view like in the form of a view like in tree view or form view so it depends what we have added in the actions so if i go to the products and uh, i click this debug icon here you can see the edit action uh, option so if i click here you will see these information that are related to the action so here is the model like from which model we need to pick the data we need to pick the data from this model model is basically the object product or template so here is the view mode like which what is the sequence of the views that we want to show the data and here is the default view that we can add uh, okay and here is the search view these are the different parameters that uh, we can see and this is the limit so limit means like how how many records you want to show by default okay so by default it is 80 so we can change it so let me just show you how it is stick with uh, so i want to show 20 records by default okay just save it and refresh the browser so currently you can see that is after out of 30 records but you can see no 20 out of 30 records because we have, we have changed this limit value okay so by default it is 80 for all the values for all the uh, mm, uh, actions okay so this is uh, you need to call the actions from the menu and inside the action you need to define like which view you want to display so currently uh, it is uh, displaying the kanban view okay you can see and uh, but for example we have a requirement that we need to show the list view whenever uh, someone click on the products okay so what you can do in this case so let me just open the action so here 
you can see this is the sequence so what we will do is uh, to change the sequence we will add tree view at the start so we want to open the tree view or uh, like the first is the first view and here we will change the default view this is actually the default view so we will change the product template product tree okay so we will change it to tree view so if i click here you will see this is the tree view uh, of the product okay so let me just uh, save this uh, changes we will edit like this and we need to modify it like here we need to add tree okay so let's just save it and let me just click here on the product okay you can see the view is not changing so by default it is no showing us the tree view not the uh, kanban view okay so this is how you can deal with actions so uh, like this is the basic uh, understanding that you need to understand in the next video we will add uh, menu items actions and uh, some views so you will better understand it so don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you can get the updates of the upcoming videos thank you